Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy rolling out our optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 versions 22H2 and 23H2, which they started rolling out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 25th of July. Now optional updates are just that, and they will remain optional if you have this toggle turned off, but if you have, get the latest updates as soon as they're available turned on. The optional update will then become a mandatory update and will be downloaded and installed automatically. So just keep that in mind. Now, if you do decide to install the update or it has installed with the toggle um, enabled, this is the update we're talking about, KB5040527, and is exactly the same update that I posted on when it was still in preview a couple of days ago and has now made its way to the stable channel with one or two differences as to when it was in preview. Now, once the update is installed, if we can just have a look at our latest uh, builds quickly by heading to Winver, which is the About Menu dialog. So for version 23H2 of Windows 11, uh, the build is now sitting on 22631.3958. And the only difference, if you are still on version 22H2, is the build will be 22621.3958. Now we get four new features that have rolled out with this update, so quite a lot going on. But just take note though that um, these might not be available to all users because they will roll out gradually, says Microsoft. So just take note of that. So if you're not seeing some, then it's they are rolling out controlled. Now I'm just going to mention the first new feature and there are now notifications for Windows Share in China, which is listed as a new feature. And then the second new feature, um, is a small yet very significant little update where you can now drag apps from the pin section of the of the start menu and pin them to the taskbar and it makes me think why microsoft took such a long time to roll that little improvement out so this has been a long time coming so there we go you can now um, drag those apps from the pin section and pin them to your taskbar and then the third new feature is when the taskbar has keyboard focus using Win and T, so using Win and T, you can see it focuses on my taskbar. You can press a letter and you will go to the app whose name starts with that letter. So I'm just going to press V and that will take me to Vivaldi browser as an example. And Microsoft says when you press a letter more than once, you'll go to the next app whose name starts with that letter. So that's just one or two examples regarding that new feature. And then just to mention a little fix regarding the taskbar is Microsoft says that the end task option no longer shows a not responding dialog before it stops a task. So that's a bit of a stability improvement. Now heading into the file explorer and there's quite a lot going on with the file explorer, which I'm happy to see because the file explorer does need a lot of work. And we also get a new feature rolling out for the File Explorer. So if we just head over to that, you can now duplicate a tab when you right-click a tab in the File Explorer. So there we go, duplicate it, and there we go. So you've got the idea, there we go. So that's also now finally made its way to stable. So that's a nice improvement if you are using the tabs in the File Explorer. Now there are quite a lot of fixes um, that have rolled out, and I'm going to go through these as quick as possible. Um, first of all, before we have a look at the fixes, just on a side note, um, I have noticed that the feature to compress to native archive support has now also made it uh, into the file explorer in my region. And this rolled out with a previous update and was on a controlled rollout. So if you hadn't seen this yet, head over to um, your file explorer, right, right click on an image or a file, and now you can compress to zip. 7z tar file and you've got additional options and i may actually do a video sometime in the future on how you can actually um use this archival support on a kind of hands-on basis i'm not going to focus on that today just to tell you that that is available compressed to if it wasn't available in your region i have noticed that became available with this update now getting back uh, to the fixes for the file explorer they've um addressed a memory leak that occurs when you interact with archive folders so that's a bit of a performance boost and um, they fixed an issue where explorer was stopping responding when you browse within it so that's also a nice uh, little fix there 
Um, when you search from home for the first time, apparently um, you might not get any results. So that's also been fixed. Uh, the address bar drop down um, menu might appear when you do not expect it. That's been fixed. And when you use the save dialog to save a file to gallery, an error occurs. And because of this update, your file saves to the pictures library instead. So that's a small significant um, improvement and fix that's rolled out. And the search box does not show the correct folder name when you are in gallery. So that's another fix that's rolled out. And a blank area shows at the top of File Explorer. If you experience that issue, that's been addressed. The back and forward mouse buttons do not work when you hover over the recommended file section um, of, the, uh, of, this, of the home section. So that's been addressed. And images flash when you view them in the gallery. So once again, um, that's been fixed. And I noticed this when I posted previously, and yes, they have fixed that. When we scrolled in the previous video, there was little flashes on the images, and we can actually see now that I think that is a lot more stable, and I'm not seeing those little flashes. So that's a small improvement. And regarding File Explorer and desktop icons, if you do have any desktop icons, a space me spacing between them might become very wide. That's also been fixed. So quite a lot going on with the file explorer but i have noticed though that um, some issues we have spoken about on the channel are still not addressed one of which is it loads in two parts so basically you get your main body first and then your um, your toolbar and your title bar here at the top loading in a second phase and they still haven't fixed the white flash bang but nonetheless um, there are some significant fixes that have rolled out for the file explorer which is a nice move in the right direction and then over and above that guys for both 22H2 and 23H2, we get a couple of fixes mainly taking place under the hood. And um, just to keep this video short, I don't want to get too much into that. Nothing really significant. They have fixed two known issues, which weren't really major. And I didn't really, really even talk about them on this channel. So any known issue that does get uh, addressed uh, is always important. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this month's optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 KB5040527. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.